again for the crazy monkeys. So we are at Liberation, and I figured you guys have probably not seen us before. You probably want to know a little bit about us. So I thought I'd tell you at one absolutely true fact about these guys, and don't listen to what they say after the show. They're absolutely true. <laughs> we have Zach here. Zach is the lead singer of a Milli Vanilli cover band. <laughs> Katie. Katie right here is deathly afraid of running water. <laughs> we have Dana. Three years ago, she saw a murder, and now she's in the care of the Witness Protection Program. <laughs> Tim, when Tim is alone, he likes to make pretend he's a mountain goat. <laughs> and we have Mike, the most sadistic one. He gets his giggles from punching hamsters. <laughs> I would like to share a fact about Matt. And a lot of people don't know this, but Matt has self-published a series of choose-your-own-adventure romance novels. <laughs> All of this stuff is 100% true. Now, what you guys are going to see tonight is we're going to tell you a story. And we're going to use our format called Tool Chest, where we're going to call out different calls, and that will modify the scene. So all you guys have to do is just sit back and enjoy, but I'm gonna need to get a couple suggestions first. From this side of the audience, I'm gonna need an adjective, just shout it out. Horrible. What was that? Horrible. Horrible. And from this side of the audience, I'm gonna need a noun. Marshall Taco. Elephant. Horrible <laughs> elephant. the electric bill. Or the water bill. Well, it's just, these are not the best of times. Henry, I should have listened to my mother and you know it. The gas is still on. Oh, great. So we can cook something. Let me go to the fridge. Empty again. Let me check the pantry. I, I left some Beets! Yeah, thanks. You like beets. I know that. It's the farmer's market. That's all they had the last day. <laughs> <laughs> Canned beets from the farmer's market? <laughs> How did the beets the purpose? <laughs> oh, I'm so angry. I should be less cold. Well, just, <sighs> just breathe. Just breathe. Hey, look. You didn't pay the watch bill either. <laughs> <laughs> no. No? Batteries, they're... They're very expensive since the green economy started. Yeah, well, I said let's get the solar house. Let's get the solar watch. Let's get a garden. That's like solar food. <laughs> but no, no. I've got a fancy job. I graduated from Purdue. No? Yeah, because that means something now. It does. <laughs> Madam President. I have Andy. Andy, yes. I have terrible news. Go on. I don't want to. <laughs> Andy? Yes, Andy. Is your job, along with going along with whatever name I decide is yours for the day? Yes. To tell me. Yesterday it was Torvald. Yes. I like Tomorrow I think it's going to be Zenon. Good. Good. But today I, it's Andy. That's what I'm feeling. And I will stick with it. Okay, but you, you're moving past the point here. What is this for the news? Uh, the country no longer trusts your judgment. I'm the Secretary of State and you've given me a different name every day. <laughs> I love the name. Yesterday was Torvald. It was a very powerful name. Russian, I believe. Maybe Norwegian. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, Jebediah. I see yes, you have canned pizza. beets again. I do. Canned beets. When will you learn? 
Have you seen my booth? I have. Yours are in jars. Yes, canned, in fact. Actually, if you could call it, jarred, homemade by my wife. These look like you bought them at Walmart. <laughs> I actually canned these myself. Oh, you put them in aluminum cans yourself? Yes, I did. With a label that says Sam's Choice. <laughs> Sam was my father. <laughs> was he? <laughs> yes, Sam. And what about your jars? What about my jars? There's no label on it. That's because it's fresh, made by my wife, Nancy Bell. <laughs> Madam President, I have horrible news. Yes, Bartholomew. Uh, Bartholomew, yes, Bartholomew. Yes, well, it appears that our nation is suffering from a severe peanut shortage. Neutral. Our nation is suffering from a severe walnut shortage. Good choice. It, it would appear that our nation is suffering from the Black Plague 2. <laughs> the Black Plague 2? Yes, I've uh, hired a team of scientists led by George Washington Carver III. Show me that. Uh, this is the team. Okay. Um, not very impressive. Can I have Science. your names? Can I have your names? John. John. Can you do my real name or my World of Warcraft name? Um, I can give you both. Real name. Let's go real name. Jennifer. Okay. Uh, well, what, 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 World of Warcraft name. I made it. I chose poorly. Jennifer. <laughs> That's a joke. Samantha? <laughs> okay, go back. So this team, they're getting, they're getting right on it, right? Yes, yes. Um, they were unimpressive, so I hired someone, and he was unimpressive, but I changed his name to George Washington Carver III. Uh, like show me that. <laughs> Jennifer. Um, Samantha, you're, you're wearing a... a a business suit. Um, yes, I got this. Okay. I'm just going to change your name to George Washington Carver the Third. I like that. that yeah, it's powerful. It's powerful. It holds meaning. People yeah. will associate I you like with George Washington Carver the First, the great peanut scientist. Go back. So you need me to sign some bill? I just would like, the public would like for you to introduce them. Uh, say, hey, we got this Black Plague 2 under control. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I would like to meet with them first. Right, good. I. Right. Right. Forward. Right. Right. So. So let's party. Nancy Bell, I'm home. Where have you been all these hours? I was at the market. At the market? Did you sell things? I sold some jars, but listen. Yeah, do I have enough to buy that purse? No. Well, go back to the market! I'm out of jars! <laughs> Jebediah is bringing the heat! He's got aluminum cans! Aluminum cans? You aluminum. Need, you need money for those. I know, I'm pretty sure he's buying them at Walmart. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Yeah. Remember the yams? Show me that! <laughs> Let's just wrap them in foil. Just wrap them in foil. Okay. <laughs> hope it's heavy duty. <laughs> go back. Let's stick in his trash and read his receipts. I like it. Okay. Okay. When? Um, well, I just gotta make sure we got the gloves. You know, we just head over there. Oh, you are so smart. Hey, Jebediah. Yes, Jebediah. <laughs> Changed your name. <laughs> to yours. I know. Did you hear the news? I don't. I don't watch the news. Inner monologue, you have a diet. <laughs> I don't think Jebediah watch watches the news. The news. <laughs> <laughs> Your jarred beats are giving people 
the Black Plague. That's too. impossible. It has to be your aluminum canned beets. No, mine are fresh. From Walmart. Fresh from Walmart. Freshly fresh. bought and relabeled. Relabeled. <laughs> ah. Look, let's not get off the fact that yours are causing people to die. How do you know what's up? The botulism from your aluminum canned beets. Look, no one dies from botulism. <laughs> okay, uh, the president wants to meet with you, and I want to make sure that you don't embarrass me and our country. Uh, Wait, the actual president? The president of the United yes. States. Why would George Washington Carver III ever embarrass you? Uh, it's true. Okay, I just want to prepare you for some questions that she will probably ask you in front of the public in a live news conference. George Washington no. Carver the third is ready. Okay, don't refer to yourself in the third person. It makes you sound pretentious. Ask me a moment, George Washington Carver the third. Makes me sound pretentious? Makes George Washington Carver the third sound pretentious? I don't even know what that means! <laughs> I am the third in line of many great George Washington Carvers. <laughs> I will refer to myself however I would like. You do that. Your real name is Samantha! <laughs> Irrelevant. The government changed her name. You were there. I believe you changed it. I, I, it was, I did. It was me. Oh, please don't change my name. I'd have to buy a new domain. <laughs> you do that to you, okay, Jennifer. God, I'm already... So where's the president? Name. I'm ready. Let's run over the questions first. First, don't need to. she might ask you something along the lines of, well, what was your contribution to modern, to modern science? I well, cleaned up the wabbage. And my grandfather, <laughs> my grandfather invented the peanut. <laughs> Sit down, Nancy Bell. I got some news. I'm finding my head purse. <laughs> no. No. It may be your jarred beats. No. That Say it ain't so. That are giving people the black plague too. I wash it with dawn. <laughs> After a moment, Nancy I know that. Dawn is a trusted, trusted soap. Didn't you see all those hurricanes? Then all those oil spills? We cleaned up the ducks. A little bit of <laughs> The swans. How could it not clean up the plague, too? It's petroleum based. I, I don't know. It might be a conspiracy. Conspiracy by the government? There's no telling how high this thing could go. I think we're in trouble. Washington Carver III. <laughs> very, very nice to meet you. Yes, Hi. it is. Hi, John Simmons. Nice Dr. John Simmons from Purdue. Hi. Jennifer, for any level of work. Huh? <laughs> I need you to tell me who I am today. You are Johnson. Johnson. New choice. Johnson. New choice. You are Stephen. Stephen. New choice. You are Wolfgang. Wolfgang. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Three. Okay, got this. Oh, we're <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the United States, your president. So, I'm swinging on the president. We have a dilemma at our hands. The Black Plague 2. I, I don't know how this happened, but I know that as Americans, we will fight this together. Here <laughs> is the team that we have put together to fight this horrible disease. And I would just like you to meet these lovely people. We're going to ask them some questions now so you can 
understand a little more what is going on. I don't know if you noticed Jebediah, but I've uh, moved, that Jebediah? moved on from Beats. Oh, just, you're done with Beats. We are done with Beats. It's too risky. With you causing the entire black life, too. Shh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're working with wild carrots now. New choice. We're working with individual peas now. <laughs> That's fancy. We're not growing them in pods anymore. That's really <laughs> fancy. All those hotel mini bars are gonna want those. Shh. Keep it down. Look, I know we've had our differences. This is just the beginning. We've had our differences. Is there any way we could get together on this pea problem? Oh, so you can sell it to Walmart and then relabel it and it says Jebediah's peas? <laughs> Do you know how big Walmart is? It's huge. <laughs> I've actually never been to Walmart. So, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> if we can take your P idea, the individual ones, and sell them to the masses, we could be thousandaires. <laughs> no, Jennifer, we can't move the entire United States to the world of Warcraft. It is not a real place. But they don't have to play two there anymore! Not real! <gasps> what other suggestions do you have, team of elite scientists? Wolfgang, where did you find these scientists? Well, we met in a chat room. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. I am a polishing level wizard. And you? I am a um omnivore. Um, <laughs> elf, level 1,000. Wait a minute, that doesn't even exist. It um, does. Let's meet up. Okay. <laughs> uh, we met, um, actually, it was um, at a science conve convention I went to. Very cool science. They had individual chat rooms for people to meet without actually meeting people is great. George Washington Carver the third. The third. I am George Washington Carver the third, and I am the grandson of George Washington Carver the first, the Do guy who invented the peanut. A degree in science. Doesn't my name speak for itself? <laughs> You're in my book. Yeah, I didn't actually realize that was a requirement. Elite scientists, are the we still elitist. rolling? Can we turn the cameras off, please? Well, it's a live studio <laughs> audience of filled with press. Um, but for the, the people at home, we can turn off the cameras, yes. Okay. I do have a doctorate from Purdue University. Count your men. Will you stop moving the chair around me in circles, Nancy Bell? I know they're gonna be here any second. How is that helping? It's calming me. <laughs> Did you realize I made promises I can't keep? I don't know how to grow individual yeah. peas without the pods. You made a lot of promises you can't keep. Don't bring our vows into this, Nancy Bell. <laughs> when I first met you, you stole my heart. <laughs> I'm keeping that in the basement where it goes. <laughs> It's nothing. It's nope. No, that's mine. Nope. You get out of there. You know your place. <laughs> Don't go snooping around in that basement. Maybe one of these days when you're at the market. Just Went up at the market slaving over that table for hours trying to sell your wares. What's the promise you made? You said you would support me. That's the promise I've kept. So I managed to get $200,000. Do you have the key prototype? <laughs> I don't see anything. That's because... <laughs> 
Somebody stole them. <laughs> Somebody stole them. Yes. I walked outside my house this morning, looked out at the field. They were gone. Show me that. God. I'll just tell them I walked outside and saw them stolen. <laughs> I'll just say they were gone. Okay. <laughs> so what are we going to do? I have $200,000. I sold my house and my car and my stakes in Walmart. New choice. New choice. <sighs> and I sold my house and my car and my daughter. New choice. <laughs> I sold my house and my car and my World of Warcraft account. I had two characters, top level. <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about here, Jebediah. All my possessions are gone. For this pea brain of yours. I'll tell you what, I'll take the money and I'll fix it. I'll make it right. You just take the money. Jeffrey? Yeah, I'm Jeffrey today. <laughs> <coughs> it seems to me the this black play too is just spreading, spreading more wildly. Rapidly. What like exactly wildfire. are your team of elite scientists? doing right now? World of Warcraft? <coughs> I think some of them are playing Legos. <laughs> <laughs> One of them is watching the Jersey Shore. <laughs> I got a solution. Okay, what is it? How much would you give me for a, a human heart? <laughs> <laughs> what do I need a human heart for? It's pumping away. <laughs> like a heart. In a box. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I don't know how it kept going. You're walking away from me. I'm walking, right? just you stay there. Forward, reverse. <laughs> I, you're walking away. You stay you there. I, it's pumping, I don't know how it happened. Yeah. Forward. So, box, I don't, Pumping away in the box. I don't know how it happened. Walking away from me, Jeff. You Dyer. stay there. Now, don't walk too far, because this is an idea. Look, I gave you a chance, gave you several chances with the peas. This heart thing just sounds too crazy. Maybe it's the cure. Oscar winning moment, Jeff and Dyer. <laughs> The cure for the cure. Cure. <laughs> For everything. Play it for our lives, for our money problems, for Nancy Bell's whatever. <laughs> bum leg, a bum leg, a leg made out of a bum. <laughs> that was a smart choice on your part. I she know. can still walk. Yeah, I, I thought when she had polio, I, I thought our lives were over, but then I was like, well, we'll just transplant it with, with other parts from the rest of your body. And the doctor said, okay. I think we should go straight to the president with this. Thank you. Right. <coughs> Madam President, <coughs> these two guys are here to see you. Didn't even bother to ask who they were. 90% of the country's dead. Good are you, Donald? Not much. I believe I have the black plague. <laughs> Donald? Jeffrey? Winston? I was thought I was Donald. We may have a solution to this problem. So much. You're going to fix the black plate too? Oh, yeah. We're Jebediah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a heart. We have a heart in a box. In a box. <laughs> okay. I, I don't really know how that's going to work, but it sounds better than Legos. This is so much better than Legos. The Lego team is doing some promising research. <laughs> Pump it away. So what, what is it you want to do with this part? Sure. I'm not a scientist. In a monologue, Madam President. Perhaps I can take this heart and, and give it to Jersey Shore Girl, World of Warcraft, I don't, they're the scientists. Maybe they'll know something to do with it. I'm really not very good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll take this. Okay, so everything's cool. Everything's cool. Could you, 
Could you take care of Alan? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, I uh, I brought you a human heart. <laughs> Go team, they're probably having too much fun. I just built a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay can you do something with this heart that will solve Here, that. a black plate problem? I think so. Okay. All right, check back with me. Okay, you guys you do your scientist thing. Yeah. Okay. Let's look it up on Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> well, it says that. You can have people eat it. <laughs> you can have you know, some kind of a buffet line. Like all America. Whoever's left. We can feed America. Yeah, there's only like <laughs> ten of them left. Invite <laughs> <laughs> them down, and serve it up. <coughs> well, Gregory, I lost the re-election. Not surprised. <laughs> There were only eight people voting, Ugh. and I lost. I didn't make it. I would have voted for you. <coughs> Too busy with the plague. <laughs> yeah, I, we really need to get you out of here. Uh, I'm working on it. Okay, you're, you're, you're getting blood on my floor. I know. Let's see the clock. No, Bye. I was going that way. <laughs> I was going that way. <laughs> How am I not dead yet? <laughs> How you feeling, Nancy Bell? I don't feel so good. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Ah, my flesh! It's just you're just falling apart now. I gave your heart away. You gave my heart away? To the president. To save all those people. I didn't vote for her! <laughs> <laughs> I did, though. It was one of the things that drove us apart. In a monologue, Zach. <laughs> if I would have known that Jebediah was a Republican, <laughs> I don't know if I could have stayed with him. I wish I would have asked questions before we got married. <laughs> I need the keys, Madam President. Not even the president anymore. I, I know. Thought. George Washington Carver wait, the Third has been elected. <laughs> All right, we are at Liberation, and you can see this show tomorrow or soon on our website at adliberation.net. We're on Twitter at Adlib Improv and on Facebook at Facebook.com slash adliberation. Again, this is Dana, Katie, Tim, Zach, Mike, and thank you very much, Rachel on the mandolin and Shanna on the keyboard. <laughs>